Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. A bit on prayer. The spirit of Elijah is also the spirit of prayer and supplication, not just the spirit, the prophetic spirit that foreruns revival. All through scripture, the price for the move of God has been prayer with fasting. That's why I, I recommended some of this, not prayer alone. There is something we have done to the fasting part, but it has always been prayer and fasting. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face turning from their wicked ways it says i will hear from heaven i will forgive their sins and i will heal their land are we together now james chapter 5 when we read from verse 13 the bible says if any man is any man afflicted apostle james is teaching now he says let him pray is that true and then when you go down from verse 16 down bible began to talk about the confessing your faults to one another pray for one another that you may be healed then it says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much that means it can accomplish much in the spirit next verse elijah now the bible is using a personality to show you the power and the excellency of prayer that elijah was a, a man subject to like passion as we are and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain over a period of three years and six months next verse the bible says and he prayed again so when the bible says that you shall bind and lose he's showing you how it happens it's not just by saying be bound or be loose uh -uh. that we bind and we lose we allow and we disallow in the place of prayer all through scripture and all through bible history it's been a people who set themselves to pray another come the spirit and the bride telling the word to come show up oh god let us see your power and your glory again and again we need the lord to raise up prophetic intercessors again people who are not just concerned about tea and bread and what they desire men and women like anna the prophetess whose assignment is to pray until they see the consolation of israel Anna the prophetess prayed Jesus from the realm of the spirit till he manifested in the physical realm. Are we together? Yes. Study all the revivals that have happened in this nation. They came on the wings of prayer and fasting. Men and women who prayed, Lord show up, come visit your people, manifest your power, let us see your glory again. I assure you, that once again we will witness the move of God in a spectacular dimension there's gonna be a great awakening there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on Jesus they will be saved the spirit of Elijah restores the patterns it's a prophetic and apostolic system that foreruns the move of God that's why I told you Enoch and Elijah are two spiritual systems that if not allowed to find expression within a territory there cannot be a move of God the call to intimacy and the call to genuine prayer are we blessed what happens when people pray there is an outpouring of the spirit Joel chapter 2 and in the last days I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh when people contend for intimacy and the patterns of God are restored through prayer and fasting the response from heaven number one is an outpouring 
of the spirit of revelation the body of truth allocated for the manifestation of power grace and the possibilities of the kingdom first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 calls it marvelous light marvelous light the spirit of revelation coming corporately not just upon individuals but corporately upon the body of christ within a sphere and within a territory ephesians chapter 3 when you read from verse 9 down to 21 paul was talking about the spirit of revelation the grace that can make all men see revelation is important because it will help us through the revelation of the word we will be able to discern error we will be able to discern apostasy a deviation from the known patterns of god and then there will be an outpouring of greater levels of the anointing now this is very powerful please listen so this is what i'm teaching that for you to experience the move of god in any territory number one enoch a call to intimacy a call to hunger and the pursuit of god number two elijah the spirit and supplication are we together now that calls men back through prayer to authorize heaven because the heaven of heaven belongs to the lord but the earth has he given to the sons of men it will take men calling upon the name of the lord from the earth and when that happens there is an outpouring the response from heaven is number one the outpouring of the spirit of revelation this is what is beginning to happen so you see that there are teaching priests arising are we together it's a response to that prayer let me tell you this whether or not you know i met a woman i think it was in enugu or so i met this great woman very humble woman just 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 let me know what happens to people when they are truly yielded i met this woman after a conference and then she began to tell me about the marvelous work pastor daily my goodness and my god i was almost going on my knees and say madam pray for me or you came for counseling but i think i'm the one who needs the counseling she just came to receive an impartation and to receive prayer and when she was done telling me she has a camp a prayer camp and the kind of intercession and prayer for nations many of the people you see standing strong today they may not know the altars that support them but there are people who have been burdened to ensure that they stand and some of these people are nameless faceless people you may not see some of them on tv they are not the joshua selmans and so we are beguiled to think that those that will know a bit are the ones that are doing much the day we stand before god will be surprised because before we stand on the queue of honor and reward we'll be surprised at how backward some of us will be there are certain people you will see an old mama that did not do much but that woman spent her life making sure we stand these are the people who will receive honor that is befitting their sacrifice you will never receive a crown for what you didn't labor for no there are seven crowns according to scripture the reward of the saints are we blessed the spirit of revelation and then the outpouring of great Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.